Hey guys, Jeff Allen off the grid. Well, this is a, a kind of a new location for me. I'm on the porch of a, a timeshare resort in Lee, Massachusetts. We're down here on a family vacation, celebrating uh, the Christmas holidays and the new year, bringing in 2020. And one of the things I want to share with you and, and do a quick uh, show and tell is a book review. This is the uh, one of the newest books to my collection, my toolbox, the Craig Cottle Extreme Wilderness Survival, Essential Knowledge to Survive Any Outdoor Situation short term or long term, with or without gear, and alone or with others. That's the cover of the book. Real World Tactics for Safety and Survival in Extreme Situations. This has been a great book and I haven't been able to put it down uh, the entire holiday. It's a great one to uh, pick up, find a topic of interest, and dive right in. Craig's done his, uh, certainly done his homework and uh, has a, a great deal of, it was the first section, Mindset Development Picture of Craig. Um, he's done a great, uh, great job. He comes with a vast uh, background of skills and knowledge. He's actually contacted and uh, included many of the, the thoughts and history, background, and techniques of many other survival experts in the field. One of the things I like is a very easy read, uh, some highlighted points to, to key on some important sections uh, of each chapter. I always love the little quotes, very inspirational quotes, and usually a backstory to uh, every each of the chapters in the book. Chapters broken into, I think, 12 different books, four different sections, um, 12 different chapters, rather, four different sections, and really focuses on some essential understandings of each of the main topics. Craig's done a great job highlighting main topics. I'll uh, just show you quickly what some of them are. He's got a great section on mindset and development and that's one of the things in bushcraft and survival that is often overlooked. We're often overtooled and underprepared and uh, we go into our situations with uh, very little experience and development of the mental aspect of, of a situation which is almost it almost trumps any tool that you could bring with you into the field. Second section is looking at increasing your toolbox of survival skills and a great uh, number of chapters on a variety of things. Tactics as well. Yeah, looking at uh, a little bit of uh, weapons, shelters, and so on. And another final section on gear. And what I really love is that because gear is so individual, gear is actually the shortest uh, section in the book. He doesn't profess to know everything about all things in uh, in the sense of, of gear because gear is such a personal choice. So the book goes on to show uh, lots of, uh, you know, here's a, for example, some self-defense, lots of visual uh, pictures to kind of walk you through some of the key ideas of a particular section. Again, highlighted sections all the way through. Lots of great lists. That's what I really love. Some quick and uh, quick and dirty lists. Here's uh, some pictures, key points. You know, this is uh, a section on toxic species to avoid. And he really nails and just skips over like so many great ideas. Here's some good concepts about some basics and deadfalls, uh, snaring and trapping. Process of game fishing. Again, some more tactics, and not always military in all senses, but has a great foundation of not only military, but leadership, ways to lead a group, and so on. Good section on tracking. And uh, again, a great crossover between kind of tactical and practical. And I think this book uh, by Craig has really nailed Nailed that. So again, I'll try to provide the link down below. This is Extreme Wilderness Survival, a great book, and I thought I'd share that with you for you to add to your toolbox. It's been Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. Thanks for uh, watching today. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, and make sure you get out and add and practice some of these skills in your woods. Uh, in your Enjoy your outdoors.